What is up everyone? Today, back with another video. What I wanna talk about is how to take your MAF training to the trails. Before I dive into that though, I wanna give you an update on my training from 100 miler. Today, I hit a 12 mile run this morning, and then I have one more run that I'm actually gonna to do tonight that is going to be about five miles long. I'll pop both those runs up on the screen. Training has been going well. I have been feeling really good so far. The miles that I've been putting on have been really great. My body's reacting well. I think math training is, has been a huge part of that. And right now, this week, I'm actually going to be doing around 79 miles. The following week, I'm gonna be doing around 80. And then the week after that's gonna be my peak week. I'm gonna hit 85 miles that week. So I wanna just give you that quick update before I dove into taking math training to the trails. It's getting colder out, and one of the things that I love to do when it gets colder out is hit the trails, go for some nice trail runs, and really log the miles up in the mountains and up near some of the trails by where I live. So with that being said, one of the things that I still focus on is my math training. So I wanna go over some tips on how to stick with your math training while you're running on trails. Obviously running on trails is different than running on the road. And for me, following math training on the trails took a little bit of adjusting in order to be able to stay under my MAF heart rate. So for those of you that are new to my channel, I speak a lot about MAF training. If you like the content, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment down below and hit subscribe. So the first thing that I would say to do is make sure that you slow down. Obviously the first step in MAF training is slowing down, but when you get out into the trails, it's an exciting time. You're out in nature, you are off the roads, there's beautiful scenery around and you really wanna go out there and run hard, run fast, and enjoy what you're seeing. However, if you wanna to stick to math training, you definitely wanna make sure that you slow down. Obviously, when you slow down, your heart's not gonna be working as hard, and your math heart rate is gonna drop below that target heart rate that you're focusing on. So definitely make sure that you slow down. The second thing I would say to do is make sure that you focus on your breathing. So as we're out in trails, a lot of times there's gonna be more vertical climbing, and it's gonna be harder to run on the trails. That being said, you're gonna be breathing heavier. A lot of times you don't focus on your breathing, you're gonna be taking shorter breaths. You're not gonna be getting those deep breaths that you need to run well, keep your heart rate below your MAF rate. So make sure that you're focusing on your breathing. The third thing that I would say to do is walk hills. So when you're first starting, rather than trying to run fast up the hills, walk, power hike, work on that part of your training. As you get better at math, as you get used to running on trails, you're gonna be able to stay under your MAF heart rate while you're running up hills. But when you first start out, walk and power hike those hills. Power hike the big vertical ascents. It's gonna pay off for your training because throughout the rest of the throughout the rest of the run, you're gonna be able to have more energy and your heart's not gonna be beating terribly high throughout the entire run. The fourth thing I would say to do is make sure to control your descents. So what I mean by that is a lot of times when you're running down a hill you are gonna be running faster. And when you do that, sometimes I catch myself really losing control of my form and losing control of my breathing. And when that happens, I usually end up having my heart rate jump up above my MAF rate. So for me, that's something that I really focus on. Basically tied into the fourth point of controlling yourself on your descents. Just control your body in general when you're running on trails. Obviously you're gonna be running at different types of elevation. You're gonna be running on uneven trails. So I would say, make sure that your body is not flailing for lack of a better way of explaining it. You wanna make sure that you are focusing on keeping your form good and making sure that you're staying true to your form because that's gonna help you with keeping your heart rate low and help you with sticking with your math training.